This is Amy for the Bitcoin Brew. And on behalf of the Texas Blockchain Council, Harper Belmont and Bitcoin Brew, thank you so much, Ed, for having us and allowing us to podcast from this beautiful perch at the AT&T Stadium. And congrats on a very successful summit. How would you say it went today? Very, very well. Uh, better than we expected because we didn't know what to expect. It was the first time uh, we've ever done it and uh, it was a new idea. And um, we're very happy with the turnout for sure. Now it's getting feedback. What can we do to make it better? And uh, that's going to be the exciting part, for sure. Are we slated for a second annual summit next year? October 6th. October 6th. Right we there. need to mark our calendar. Already on the calendar. No, seriously. Um, yes, we want this to be an annual event. Uh, we signed a two-year contract with AT&T Stadium and the Cowboys, so we have one more year. Um, I think they're going to be happy with what they saw this year because we set somewhat low expectations because we just didn't know what to expect. And uh, we had over 400 kids out here, students, and a lot of uh, innovative companies from all across the state. And uh, we're, we're bullish on 23. Oh, I like that word, bullish. Yeah. We at the Bitcoin Brew like that word. Yes. So, <laughs> what ISDs were here? Because I saw so many kids, busloads of kids coming in. Honestly, I've got to look at the list because we, we almost had to turn it off last night when we got over 400, because we had 350 lanyards for students and we had more students than lanyards, so uh, we cut it off. Um, I can tell you, seriously, East, West Texas, the border, Austin, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, all over the place, and they were busing the students up. So the schools were paying for the buses. Of course, the kids get in for free, the students get in for free. They were paying for the transportation. Of course, they all get fed here. But uh, no, the schools made a huge commitment to, uh, to get these students out, so I give them a lot of credit. That's wonderful. I, I got to overhear a really dynamic conversation between it was a robotics team from a high school and they were talking to Sergeant Kalinas out of AFWorks yes. and they were just picking his brain about how to make their drone lighter, faster, smaller. And it was just such a cool thing to see a large business, you know, bridging the gap to these young people that are so interested in this tech and are just ready to take and run with it. Oh, and I mean, these kids are teenagers. And yes, and AFWorks can learn from these teenagers. And that's, that's what's different, from, at least from when I was a kid. It was, you know, by the time you, you had to get graduate school or get some sort of credential, get a few years under your belt, earn your stripes, and then you could actually maybe teach somebody something someday. Today, we can learn from 12-year-old kids. Yes. And actually, a young, a young person came up and introduced herself to me. She asked for my business card because she's looking for internship opportunities. This is a great place to find interns and, yeah. you know, future workforce. Yep. Who would you like to see? Who's on your wish list for organizations you want to see here next year? Oh, wow. You know, we have more Fortune 500 companies than any other state. I think we have 54 or 55. I'd love to see more Fortune 500 companies here. And we called a lot of them and a, a, a lot of them, we called them later in the budget year to get involved. And um, it's a process, but we built some really good relationships with some of the big companies. I would So I definitely want to see more Fortune 500 here because they are the companies that small businesses and these students can learn from and do business with. I mean, that's what... Um, Texas A&M and AppWorks and Raytheon, they're all here because they see the talent pipeline and they see working with small startup companies is how they're gonna grow. And very, not very often do they have an opportunity to network with these small companies. They usually network with themselves, right? They go to trade shows where they're all seeing the same people they've seen for years. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'm gonna mark my calendar for October 6th here at Jerry World for the second annual Why yes. Texas Summit. Yes. Thanks again, Ed, and, for having us. And we want to have more uh, Bitcoin mining, and we do. We want to have a lot more. Hey, it's Amy with the Texas Blockchain Council. Thanks for watching. We've got more great content. Subscribe here. Like here. What am I even pointing at? Nobody knows. See you next time.